Hey guys, welcome to 777HQ. Look at this. I can't believe myself. I sort of bought another E31 840 Ci. I just couldn't refuse it. Oh, plug the reform. Hello? Um, you're wondering why there is no wheels? Well, everything is there, sitting on the trailer, the wheels are there, but it's currently stripped suspension-wise. And uh, the backstory is the guy tried to do some work on it many years ago, uh, started it and left it. And it's been sitting in the barn for quite a while. And end of the 2021, she's on the trailer, which I bought as well from him. So how did I board it? Watch now. So I woke up at 4.30, had my coffee, and off I went. Journey was about four hours, more or less. So I, I was there about half after nine o'clock. And um, yeah, there she was uh, sitting on the same trailer, as you saw, uh, on the trolley. And there was loads of stuff around it. There she is, guys. Now is the hassle either I buy the trailer or transferring this to my trailer, which is even bigger hassle. But he does a good deal on the trailer, I might just buy the trailer. But then how am I gonna take my trailer and this trailer in the same time? Jeez. Uh, well the plan originally was uh, winch it from one trailer to my trailer and uh, either leave it on the trolley and strap it down or put a ties on it or some, some, something like that. But uh, I walked around, had a chat with a guy. The 2014 it was flush. Yeah. Yeah. I've noticed the trailer been sitting for a while anyway. So I thought, looks decent trailer. Our pavilion's quite good make. Uh, they're not the cheapest trailers. So I thought, you know what? Um, maybe he wants to sell the trailer as well. Um, then we went to another barn. Uh, next to it, there was some E46 M3 track wheels, two sets, some exhaust, uh, um, differential. I'm just literally getting rid of everything. I've got too much rubbish everywhere. There you go, airbox for an E46. Yeah. Yeah. And then there go. Um, <laughs> the exhaust, I need to get shot off. Boeing 777. Just typically. I'm just trying to declutter everything. And I keep meaning to put those online, but they're, they're quite big, they don't fit. You know, they won't fit. They don't fit what? Well, they fit an E46, and, but, but you need to do the arches on them because they're massive. The 10 inch wheels, they're, they're huge. So if you want to fit the E46, obviously, if you want to fit the standard E46, they don't fit. Well, they're, they're just big. All wrong. Yeah, yeah, they're very, very close, you know, so you need to. The, you know, we, we took everything off this thing and took everything well, out. Well, I'm building mm. and trying to build, or well, just getting my hands on mm. E36 V8 supercharged. Oh, right, okay. And um, yeah, I just think it's time to do. I got another E36 V8, which is yeah. like four car. We, 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 look, we just ran with that up. The whole car was going to the cage and everything. What so. time is this? 17? Eight, no, 18. 18 is. And it's, then? The, it's the width of the same, I think. Okay. Um. Who is it? Who is the 
That's the mid section for an A46. And some, and obviously loads of suspension for the 8 series, which already came with the car anyway. And I, I just ba basically didn't tour a lot, so I asked him does he want to sell a lot uh, as is, and um, and obviously what sort of money he's looking for. I'm guessing you want the back box, the wheels. Okay, uh, so what about the quad? Oh no, I need the quad. You need the quad. You got it. What about the trailer? Um, if the numbers are right, I'll let that go. I mean, just tell us, rough figure. This is the crazy thing, they don't lose money. I mean, if I went on to get one tomorrow, it's still going to be like over three grand to get one. Honestly, I hadn't really thought about selling it. Okay, deal for the trailer and the lock. But the question is, if I even was going to buy the trailer mm -hmm. and the lock, still got my own trailer. Yeah. Like, yeah. Either, probably there will be two runs. Well, that's what I say. If you... Like, if, if you don't mind storing my trailer. No, look, as long as you, yeah, it's probably easier to pull that out, put this down here and pick it up later. Uh, okay. In the picture, it's going to be easier, but either way. Yeah, yeah. I'll like but I'd just lot. be super careful how you're strapping it because as much as uh, it moves slowly well, you're going to need to spend a bit of time strapping it I think the best way is to put it on the tire actually or on the wheels itself I should drop it down have you got jacks on there? Oh, you do all these yeah, mate this, this, oh, this, 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 this is the, the scene. This, this is the thing I'm just I'm not in I might have one jack somewhere um, maybe two you gotta look around, but I think you're right though. The pendulum on that, I just uh, like, I mean, yeah. Last thing I want, I want a motor. No, no, exactly. Then yeah. Probably will be in local, new, local, local news. Yeah, or, or even national. <laughs> <laughs> what most do you drive this like this? <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. He sold it to me. He said, "Yeah, that's mine." Yeah, you're probably taking it away. <laughs> After a couple, uh, couple, couple minutes of chatting, we made the deal. And I bought a whole lot. I bought the trailer, I bought a trolley, I bought an eight series, I bought literally everything, whatever he wanted to sell. I was like, you know what? We made a fair deal and I took the lot and it was easier for him. He wanted to sell the trailer anyway. So, you know what, I'm just, I'll, I might just have it. And um, yeah, basically then afterwards we uh, had a walk in, uh, around the farm. We noticed there is a Mark II Golf Strip Um, just asked what's the backstory. Well, um, there wasn't as such a backstory as the 8, eight series, but um, at the time he bought it for like 300 pounds more or less and started to do some jobs currently stripped. But he's, that car is one of them cars he wants to keep and he probably will give it to some company or guy who will actually get, get his hands on it and restore it because he's really, really busy guy. Um, he's got a nice house, nice yard, like fair play to him. But d in the same time, he might just do his own work and pay someone to, to, to make his pride and joy ready, you know. I'm not sure, do you have everything? Everything. But, but to be fair. Everything is refreshing, really Yeah, awesome. everything is redoing. Well, the race there, you put a cage, you put two bucket seats, yeah. make nice half But carpet. I want it to be done like, nice that's what i'm saying yeah. like a uh, nicely painted roll yeah, cage yeah. all that stuff yeah. i think it will look awesome because you still can make it all legal mm -hmm. and the one you can put on the trail and take it to her room well that's that's that sort of thing because so, my little one's coming up for racing and she needs something to go to the track with it's something like this like a, whether you put the original 1.8 in it i think that would probably be a start at point so it's too much you can see the box but I'm thinking just make it simple, something that you can go out and play with in the weekend. You don't really want to be more than two seconds. Yeah? For us, you'll, you're not going to do it. Yeah. At least it's going to give you some smiles as well, instead of driving to shows and yeah. like, you know. That's the thing, I'd like it black, blacked out, just straight, you know what I mean? 
just maybe maybe some BBSs on it that'll be on there. Yeah, it'll be awesome. Yeah? Yes. It's simple. But this is the one I will get done, whether I get it done myself or whether I get something else. It's probably more likely to be yeah. Give you a shout. Fancy no, 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 no. <laughs> I got a full of yarn and like... But you might end up knowing something. Well, the amount of times I put it up and everybody, oh, because they know what the, the Mark II's are worth. I mean, like, mint Mark II's now, they're worth crazy, would not they? Roughly what? 10, 12 grand? Yeah, uh, same than in Paris. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter what engine you got. Yeah. On projects, time is critical thing like you probably will spend um well it depends how detailed you go but you might spend loads like months or even years on the projects you know depending how bad it is basically you have took the trailer Uh, towed it uh because it was somewhere down down the farm I, was, I pulled it out and then we use the jacks we um, piece of woods and try because I've noticed on that tra uh, on the trolley which day series was on it's actually it would be quite sketchy to tow it and even even if I strap it down I thought mm, it's not gonna work out I'll probably get too much attention so Ideally, I'll ask him to take the jack, we jack both sides up, and um, yeah, put it on, um, on the wheels and obviously then strap it down. So that's what he done. It took us a couple hours or so, and literally maybe two, three hours later, the car was on, everything was strapped. Uh, most of the stuff was loaded in my X5, and I uh, had to leave my, my own trailer down there. and obviously wheels and some other bits and pieces are gonna collect at some point in maybe a couple of weeks. He didn't mind storing it at the moment because um, obviously I couldn't take two trailers at the same time. Yeah, that's, that's the story how I've uh, collected my eight series. So then that was a long day and um, as you can see the car is here, another project in the yard. Uh, you probably will ask how are you going to manage this because you got loads of projects. Yes that's true but to be honest I will, I mean I will put this back on the road because it doesn't actually need much to be honest. It'll, it'll need maybe a day or two spending on a welding. Um, main 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 parts well issue what I'm thinking is the sourcing bushes parts because mainly uh, I'm not going to put old suspension back on so um, there is an issue as well um, as you see to be honest I didn't know that um, now I know <laughs> there was um, this is integrated suspension or whatever you call it because the hub is part of it, it comes with the strut. I was like, what the hell? Um, I'm thinking maybe I should buy either coilovers, like decent brand, I'm talking like VCs and stuff. And I've seen on E34s, E32s, definitely on E34s, they weld the strut on the hub. Maybe that's, the, that's one way. Uh, but either way, first of all, I, well, I can come back to it. I need mainly bushes, a couple arms, and um, that's the main, main thing. And obviously, first things first, what I'm gonna do when, because everything is off, I'll do the welding obviously, but I'll take the, all the sub, both subframes off, because uh, everything is already stripped. I might just take all these suspension bits, uh, give it to sandblasting and powder coating in the same time. So while I'm doing the welding, 
I might just send it, send this off and that'll be ready in a couple of days. So that's one thing. So, and um, it needs a bolt from wings. I mainly this wing. That other side can be saved. Um, I've looked under bonnet, it seems more or less all right. The engine and gearbox should be all right as well because there were, well, there was no reason. Basically, it's only stripped because of uh, slight rust on the jacking points. And as I said, he just started and never finished it. But the engine and gearbox should be 100% fine. Needs a clean on the interior. Even the headliner is not sagging. Uh, there was a slight rip on the driver's seat. No big deal. That might be repaired. Um, and maybe paint job here and there. And that's about it, you know, like it's not it's not massive, massive project unless I go too much attention to detail where in this case, probably I'm not going to go too much in depth. But all I want at the moment is get it back on the road in usable condition, if that's that's all right, because uh, I can't see it's definitely not Alpina project as such, because obviously, you know, Alpina is bare shell. With this, no, I just, just want to basically do some welding, full, put the suspension back on and job done. By the way, it has a cool plate. It meant to say 840 GT, but I think it's B40 GT. But either way, it comes with the car, uh, which is quite cool. Um, I'm guessing if you would do spacing, let's say B4, this section, and then, then you would understand it says 840 GT. But anyway, it came with the car, so I don't mind. So that was a quick intro, what I again bought. Um, as I said, first, first thing first, all the bits underneath powder coated and uh, ordering parts, and then I can slowly start working uh, and obviously do welding first. Uh, let me know in the comments below, <laughs> what do you think? Um, and also, I, as you know, I still got my um, yellow, Dakar Yellow E31. To be honest, that car, when I bought that car, uh, I bought a basically straight running car. I didn't want to do any project. I fancied the car anyway, so I, I, I've just looked quickly underneath, but everything was pretty much up to date, where this car is a bit of a project. And um, to be honest, I haven't worked a lot on these. Engine wise, gearbox wise, yeah, but nothing like suspension wise and stuff like all I, all I know, it's quite difficult to source the suspension. Well, it's in the same way expensive and you need to buy parts individually, not like you can buy the whole kit on some other cars, some other BMWs. Uh, that makes job job a bit more difficult but you can still source them. You just need to match the part numbers and literally go every uh, web shop and buy everything individually. That's a bit of a pain, but it is what it is. And um, in the same time, while everything is in the process, I might just give the throwing stars uh, or a refurb because they look a bit shabby. And overall, yeah, that's that's about it in this video. And um, hopefully you enjoyed it because um, I've enjoyed as well. I've enjoyed picking up, uh, picking up the car, pick, uh, like seeing uh, the guy who actually sold the car to me. And uh, by the way, if you're watching this, Simon, thanks for the car and uh, thanks for the trailer. Thanks for everything. You, the guy's really nice. Um, I'm 100% sure you're watching it anyway. And um, yeah, I'll come back for that, uh, my own trailer in maybe a couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, so give us a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.